Hey all it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. So Gumroad versus Payhip, which one should you use to start selling your products online? We'll discuss it in this video. So you've been contemplating whether to use Gumroad or Payhip to start selling your products online. What are the pros and cons and what exactly are the differences between the two? Well, right off the bat, let's start with pricing because in my opinion, this is probably gonna be a big decider for you. First off, let's start with Gumroad because Gumroad's quite an interesting one. Not too long ago, they basically changed their fee structure to simply charge 10% flat. What they had recently was a tiered structure whereby when you start out it's 10% and then as you sell more and more in terms of volume that fee that percentage reduces down to other lower percentages like 7% and then 5% or so that's Gumroad's fee overall both Gumroad and Payhip do not charge a monthly fee which is something you might already know now the caveat with both Gumroad and Payhip is that there's an extra fee they don't charge it but the processor does and that usually incurs a PayPal slash Stripe fee which is about 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. Gumroad doesn't really state it on their pricing page, but if you log into your Gumroad account, go to settings, then to payments, you'll see right here, all sales will incur 10% Gumroad fee, which you already know, plus the 2.9% plus 30 cent transaction fee for every transaction that you, or sale that you make. So that really is going to be a big decider on which platform to use. 10% versus 5%, I mean, there is a big difference there, especially if you're gonna sell a large volume. So if fees is one of your big concerns, then straight away, Payhip is the answer. All right, so that's the end of the video. See you later. But all jokes aside, there are some pros and cons and of course, feature differences between the two and let's get to that right now. All right, so Gumroad and Payhip allow you to sell both digital and physical products. With Gumroad, whenever you create a product, you can select between digital product, course or tutorial and these other ones under type. Whereby with Payhip, also, it's very similar. You can sell digital products, courses, membership, physical products, coaching service, and create a bundle if you'd like. With Gumroad, although they do offer an option to start a membership business, when you're setting up your product, you'd enter all the details as you normally would. And then with the content, this is where you can enter all your deliverables, right? So you can enter it all here, put in all the links, attachments, and you can also use this version right here. So there's the beta content editor and this normal one where you can upload your files. And this is what it'll look like in preview mode. But mind you, we did select a membership site or a membership kind of product. So there's no real way to set up a real membership site where someone can go in and go through your course material. Whereas with Payhip, when you select a membership site, you are given all these options such as entering and creating your curriculum you've got different settings and pages and you can manage your members and the pricing levels so you create your modules or your lessons and it will look something like this this is an example lesson where you can also embed some media such as videos and audios or whatever you like so payhip gives you all those options so yes although gumroad offers a membership option it's kind of disguised as simply you know a digital product or any other product that you see right here even if you select a course or tutorial and going into content you can see that you have to create that sort of layout for your members to go through like the digital downloads or your videos and whatnot no matter what type of product you're going to set up in your gumroad account the setup process is all very similar instead with something like a physical product you can create different versions and you have this option for a shipping destination right and that's the first difference i want to share with you the next point is your store where you sell all your products. With Gumroad, this is what your store looks like. You've got your cover, you've got all your products here, and you've got this line of text that you can utilize, including you know your name here. And there's a subscribe button if they wanna stay up to date with your latest products. And now this here is what your Payhip store will look like. In terms of customizing your store, Gumroad is very limited at the moment, and I don't see them changing anytime soon. It's been like this for years. So if you take a look at your profile, this is where you can set up your store. You've got your username, your name, and then this is the line of text that you can use and your logo or your thumbnail and a couple of other things. You wanna feature your products, sort the order by featured, newest or highest rated, things like that. With Payhip, you've got almost full flexibility to customize your page 
including the header. You've got the way you organize your products, like the collection and the aspect ratio, mobile layout. You can add different sections. You can add a footer. If you also go to change store style, you can change the actual look and feel of it. It's going as specific as the button shape and the button border width. Going back, this one's a kind of new one, uh, themes. They recently added quite a number of themes. Let's take a look at some of them. You've got Airsmith, Cream, Echoes, Enigma. So based on your niche, or if you simply want to start off with one of these as a foundation and then customize it later, you're free to do that. So as you can see right off the bat, there's a lot more customization with Payhip. So this feature alone may be a decider for you. And with Gumroad, it may be a deal breaker really <laughs> if you aren't given that option or the options to customize your store. Next up, let's go through some of the marketing options. With Gumroad, first of all, whenever you set up a product, you enter your details. Going down, you'll see pricing, of course. And below that, you've got versions. And this is a way to basically upsell, cross-sell and offer something else in addition and kind of like that bump offer. If you take a look at this product, for instance, a Guide to Gumroad. This is just a demo product, by the way. You can see that I'm selling Guide to Gumroad Basic and also Guide to Gumroad with templates. You can bump up your offer all the way up to whatever your offer is, of course, and that will increase your sales, right? So that's what I mean about marketing. That's like, like the on-page feature. In addition to that, if you go to checkout, you can also offer a discount coupon. So that way you can also perhaps get more sales by offering a special discount coupon for subscribers only or for those who follow you on social media. And really apart from that, that's about it for Gumroad, whereby with Payhip, there's a dedicated page called marketing and then and on that page, you'll see coupons set up, you know, the traditional coupon codes. You've also got social discounts where if they spread the word about your products, you basically let customers receive discounts when they share on Facebook. You've also got affiliate marketing. Gumroad does have this feature as well. So it's on the affiliates page. And then basically this is the page where they can sign up as an affiliate and then you can enable specific products that can be promoted. And back to pay up, you've also got mailing lists where you can set up different mailing lists. Gumroad does have this similar feature where you can basically create new posts and then schedule them and send email broadcasts. There's also an option to create workflows. So similar to any other email marketing platform, but in a more simplistic format. And on the subject of email marketing, both Payhip and Gumroad allow you to export your customers and then import them to whichever email marketing platform you use. With Payhip specifically, if you click on set up mailing lists, you can actually choose from the drop down the different types of uh, email marketing services. So these are the ones they support, including MailChimp. But both Payhip and Gumroad allow you to use Zapier. So it's supported by Zapier where you can connect Payhip or Gumroad with your email marketing service. And then that way you can connect it straight away and have all these automations going. Next up, you've got cross-selling where you can promote your products to customers when they add an item to their cart. Example, buy one, get one half price. And there's also referral, incentivizes your customers to share your products with their friends and supercharge your sales. And also being able to create upgrades or upsells, encouraging buyers of one product to purchase other products with a special discount. So as you can see, more marketing features that Payhip offers. Now, in terms of a marketplace, does Gumroad and Payhip have a marketplace where you can actually feature your products? Gumroad does, and they call it Gumroad Discover. However, there is legibility that you need to meet and criteria. So you need to have a balance of at least $10, uh, make enough genuine sales to actual customers. So you can't self-purchase and of course abuse it and forcing your partner uh, housemates to buy a product as an example. You need to be also verified by their risk team in the risk review process, which can take one to three weeks. So there is a process to this. It's not like once you set up your product, then it will be featured. And even with this marketplace that Gumroad offers, there's no guarantee you will make any sales at all. So you do need to have a track record and have made sales. And even with the marketplace, once again, it doesn't mean that you will get sales automatically. You have to go out there and market it yourself at the end of the day. Payhip, on the other hand, does not have a marketplace. In terms of analytics, very similar. If you go to Gumroad's analytics, this is what it looks like. You can base it on daily and then select specific products. So sales, views, total, and a graph right here, and the referrer locations, and that's about it. With Payhip, you're also given the option to specifically choose the products, views, sales, and also visitor sources. So very similar as well. In terms of user experience and ease of use, both Gumroad and Payhip are very similar. It's quite self-explanatory. You've got the name, you've got the description, create a URL for it, enter your, or upload your cover. You 
got a thumbnail. Very easy to go through this setup. There's really no code or nothing like that. With Payhip, very similar, adding a new digital product, for instance, you upload your product, like a zip file, title, pricing, upload an image, uh, make it visible or not. You've got advanced options as well. Payhip offers this option to automatically subscribe customers to a mailing list, which is a great option as well. When it comes to managing your customers, all you need to do in Gumroad, it's under audience, and then you go to customers, and then these are all your customers. You can go to a specific customer, and this will give you more details details of what they purchase and how you can refund their recent purchases. You also have the ability to export your customers by clicking export. With Payhip, if you click on customers, you can see all your customers, export your customers once again, and then also go to a specific customer and view their order details. And with all that said, ultimately, which one should you go with? Honestly, I don't see why more people aren't using Payhip. With Gumroad, I see it in the creator space, especially on Twitter. A lot of them use Gumroad to sell their products. And I think this kind of word of mouth thing or because it seems like the safe way or that it seems more well known. I would say that Gumroad has done a good job in terms of uh, branding and marketing. In terms of branding, yeah, uh, the colors and how it looks, it looks great depending on your taste and, and the aesthetics that you like. However, with Payhip, the interface and all that does look a little dated. I mean, if you don't mind the simple look and feel of it, that shouldn't be a problem to you. What matters in the end is the functionality and how it works and whether it's going to do the job, right, of selling your products. And I really don't see anything specific about Gumroad that Payhip can't do already. Payhip, if anything, has more options and features for you to sell your products. Overall, both Gumroad and Payhip are good platforms to start with when selling your products online, especially if you're just starting out. I mean, you don't want to commit to something like $50 per month or $100 per month for a platform when you haven't really established yourself, whereby with Gumroad and Payhip, it's $0 and all you need to pay is the fees. And once again, that's what it's going to come down to, whether you're okay paying 10% versus 5% and which branding you like and the user experience. And with Payhip, that standout feature is that store builder. Do you wanna be able to customize your store? You know, go with Payhip in that case. My personal recommendation, if it's not obvious by now, is Payhip because of reasons I already shared in this video. But let me know in the comments which of the two you'll be using to sell your products online. I'd love to know. In the meantime, take care and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next.